I would do this myself. And this particular wig had really, really good lace. If I say anything about this that I love the most, it was definitely the lace. Because the lace was the perfect color for my skin. Which normally is never a thing for me. I always end up where it's like, it's too light or it's too dark. But this was actually pretty perfect. It was super thin and those knots were very light. Um, the lights, the lights, the uh, knots were also not too thick either. They were really thin. And sometimes when you get like closures and stuff like that, they have a tendency to be extremely like the knots are really thick, which is really difficult to bleach. So here, this is after, I think this is after I bleached them. I didn't bleach them all the way out just because I wanted to use this for something else. And I was like, I don't want to just over bleach them for no reason. It's, it's unnecessary. Now the hair quality, um, we're going to, so there's two different answers to that. And I noticed as of recently, so let's look on Instagram and stuff. There's just people who are installing wigs all day. A lot of these companies like for you to just install it and shut up, but they don't really, people aren't speaking to the quality of the hair, which is like, what the hell is the point? Um, the quality of the hair, the brown parts, I would give a 10. The blonde parts, I would give a six. And it's because it seems like no matter whoever had bleached this wig, I think they um, they left the blonde on a little too long, as well as the fact that the blonde pieces, as you can see in certain areas, they're just blunt. There is no, there is, it's just a big space right there, which for the average person is probably like, well, I could fix it, but it's just something I wanted to point out just because again, this is how my wig came. There's another piece that's in the back of my head where they didn't blend that line either. Now this is a simple fix. You could either do one or two things. You can take some bleach and blend the line or you can take the same brown color and blend the line out but i did notice in two sections of this particular wig that it was a bit blotchy in certain areas now here because they had whoever had bleached this wig they left it on a little too long when you leave bleach on too long the hair starts to get very wiry and the porosity of the hair changes which starts to cause the hair to just look like the ends are just unkept and they aren't cut, trimmed or anything. So you see this big little, in the behind there, there's like a big, uh, just a line of demarcation that wasn't blended out. But everything else, as you can see, it was is great. I didn't have any problems at all with trying to get it to lay down. But I did notice that once I went ahead and cut the ends on the hair, it made my life oh so much easier. Um, the wig was longer than what it is. It's longer in the back than it is in the front, but I'll put a lot of layers in the front just because, again, this particular thing, it wasn't going to lay the way I wanted to and the way I needed it to. So this is what it looked like straight out of the bag after I washed. I did a deep condition on it when I first got it because as soon as I pulled it out, I felt it. So once I did the deep condition, the hair was fine, but it still can't, it, deep condition can only do too much, do so much. So off camera, I just put a whole bunch of layers in it because originally I was supposed to trim it and then I got very scissor happy and yeah. So this is what it ended up looking like. I like this look so much better because it's um, a lot of layers. The hair is very full. So that made it much easier for me. The hair is extremely full for I think this density is a 180 density, if I'm not mistaken. But I cut the bang this way because half of it, as you can see, was going to go into a swoop. So I wanted to make sure that everything on this side blended together. I could have made it shorter and more of an asymmetrical cut, but I chose not to because I said I wanted to use this for something else too. So I didn't want to cut too much off because I can't put it back. So here it just me trying to figure out where I want it my part to be, how much of the swoop that I wanted to go behind my ear and all that. So that was just the trial and error. So I'm using a bolt hole liquid gold, which in my opinion is like the best thing to use if you want to temporarily give your hair a very permanent feel. So this is, you know, it comes off with water. So if you sweat, this may not be the greatest thing. But if you need to just put your wig on really quickly, as you can see I'm doing here, then it's much easier to just put it on, put the blow dryer on cool. It's going to start to eventually start to dry. And then once you cut, because you're going to feel it. It's like it will like pull itself. And as you can see, like once you feel that, then just take your lace and just lay it right over that. I ended up messing up here because I'm not used to installing my hair on camera. I'm moving a lot of stuff in my apartment, so my original setup is different. So I'm trying my best. I'm literally looking at a mirror that's between my legs, <laughs> trying to make sure that this makes sense. So I didn't really put it where I needed it, but as you can see by my face, 
I'm like, girl, you she's down. She's not coming up at all. She's down, down. But do you see the lace? If you couldn't see that line from the end of the lace, then you wouldn't know I had on a wig or it was any lace there, which I really do love. So here it was just more so me making sure that everything was where I wanted to be. I didn't glue down the other side just because the swoop was going to be there. And I wanted to make sure that it went up under and over my ear. If I would have glued it down, I would have had to repart the wig. And I just didn't care enough to do that. Like, girl, that's a lot of work. Um, but I can say the more that I wore this hair after this, the better it felt. Meaning the more that it, it kind of got softer as I went. Because like I told you, it was a little brassy because of that blonde. But as I went through... And the products that I like to use on it, I've washed it many a times and she hidden. She she acted she acted real, real uppity. So here I opted to just do it on camera because this is what they keep asking us to do. Like, can you install your inner like girl? I'm not used to doing this in this lighting, but I'm changing things around so I can do this a little bit more often. So it's a very difficult thing for me to try and see to do. That's a little it's a little it's a problem. But as you can see, once I got it all worked out, she was laying down like a champ. I used the Got to Be Glued spray just for the my so that my swoop would stay in place. That's all I really cared about. I wanted to make sure that it didn't move. Now, normally, here I would be done. But it was like, okay, well, you're going to have to add some more stuff. So I used some oil sheen, which is why my hair may look a little bit greasier. But sometimes when the hair is a little bit more on the brassier side, you want to make sure that you lay it down so it look like that. Because if I would have put no type of oil in my hair, my hair, you wouldn't be able to really tell that I had layers like that in it. But overall, like the, the wig cap was really good. The tracks were really super thin in the back. The lace is very good quality. The base color was really good. The only thing I had an issue with was the blonde, which was the processing of the blonde and then also a lines of demarcation that I had. But overall, I would definitely give the wig overall an 8 out of 10 because I think they did a really good job. And this is a custom color, which is something that doesn't necessarily, you don't get a lot of with companies, especially like this, because again, somebody, you see, this is the line I'm talking about. So if that line was blended out much better, we would be good. But it wasn't, and I wanted to point that out because again, that's the point of these reviews. Um, but yeah, overall, I didn't have a problem with the company. I didn't have a problem with the hair. I didn't have a problem with getting it to me. I didn't have a problem with any of that. Just those things that I pointed out. So I definitely would suggest this. She's actually on her way to another new home because um, somebody already called it on my Instagram. But I will be back with more. I hope to work with Nadula Hair in the future. This is my first time, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but she's a really, she's sassy. She's, <laughs> she's definitely sassy and I was here for it. It was something different. I haven't done this in a while and I have never had it where the wig came like this in this color besides that headband wig that I had. So check the links below and I'm gonna catch y'all 